Hey friends, it's me Stace. For today's quick video, we are making a sublimation mug along with a mug box. I did modify it a little bit. You can see I did add a circle punch just so I had a thumb hole to get the lid open. I'm gonna open that up and I'll show you the mug. There's the box and then we have the mug here. This is just an image I found inside Cricut Design Space. We have that side as well. Super cute, lazy days of summer. All right, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. All right, here we are at the computer. I'm already logged into Cricut Design Space on the welcome screen. From here, we're gonna go right below where it says explore more and go to the far right and click on the arrow and go to the category of mugs. And then you'll see cozy gifts and we're making the very first one, which is a Noel mug as well as a gift box. Now the gift box you can see does have ribbon on it. I'm not gonna use the ribbon. I'm gonna click on that, it'll bring up a preview window. It does tell you that this is designed for a 12 ounce mug. In the very bottom, choose customize. So we have the red ribbon here. I'm going to go ahead and choose a delete on that one, as well as these pieces here, delete those ones. On this piece, I'm going to right click on that and choose detach. Then take that out of the way and then hit delete. Right click on it again and choose detach. And you'll see here on my right hand side under my layers, these are all now individual layers. I'm going to click on the actual template and use the down arrows on my keyboard move this down some. I'm leaving that wording there just as a guide for our own image. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. That way it's still lined up. Left hand side toolbar, I'm going to click on images. I'm going to choose browse all, search box. I'm going to type in the word summer and then click on enter. On my left hand side under operation type, I'm going to click on the plus sign and change that or choose print and then cut. So now these are all printable summer images. I want to find the one that has a really cute sloth on it. There's lots of really cute ones in here. I, I want that one there. Lazy Days of Summer. I'm going to click on that one. Let's scroll down. We have this one. A sweet Taste of Summer with the Ice Cream Cone. Summer Vibes. Shake Your Pom Poms. Let's celebrate. A lot of really cute ones there. All right. Choose Add to Canvas. So we have our image here. I'm going to make it be smaller. And I'm going to kind of center this inside this template and use this image here, this wording, as a guide. So I'm going to kind of center it with the wording and centering it top to bottom. But I'm happy with that. I'm going to right click on that and choose duplicates. Now I have two of them. Bring this one over again. I'm going to center it under that wording there. Just make sure they're kind of even left and right. So I have a little space here. I have more space over there. Maybe I'll go in some. Okay, so when you're happy with that, you're gonna click on your image, hold down shift, click on the other image, go to the very top and choose a line, choose a line bottom so we know they're straight up and down. And at this point, again, you're also able to adjust them if you want to. Hold down shift, then click on your template, right click on that and choose attach. So now we can bring this down and we now can delete these pieces here. I'm going to highlight all of those and then delete these. Now I'm not using this template. I don't want to print this piece out. So I'm going to right click on that again and choose detach. Take this piece out and then delete that. These two images though, I do want to keep them where they are. I want to have them be cut out and have that space between them so they'll, able, they'll fit on my mug. So to do that, I'm going to highlight both pieces. I'm going to right click on that and choose attach. So now they're attached together. Upper right hand corner, click on make it. You will see these are two printable images. So I'm just going to line them up on my mat here. On the left hand side, I'm going to change that to mirror image so it prints it backwards. Then we have mat two, which is one part of our box. Mat three, which is the other part of our box. I'm going to go back up to mat one, choose continue. And I'm going to choose send to printer. I'll be printing this on my sublimation printer. So I'm going to choose that one here, which is my Epson 4800. And all these other things I'm leaving at default. So I'm going to go and choose a print. So I'm going to print these out. Then I'm going to go back to Quick Design Space and cut out mat 2 and cut out mat 3. We'll go to the table, sublimate our mug, and put our mug box together. All right, friends, we are back. We have our box cut out and we have our piece printed. I'm going to go ahead and take my Cricut trimmer and I'm going to trim this down. I'm going to go just inside these black lines. Just like that. Hold this down and cut that one. 
flip it around and do the same thing on this side. Again, I'm, I'm going just inside those black lines. I can see I missed a little bit of black here, so I'm going to go back and trim it some more. Make sure I get that black piece off of there. Okay, now I'm going to trim the sides the same way, just inside that black line, and then just inside the black line on this side. I already have my mug press heated up, ready to go, and I did clean my mug with rubbing alcohol. I'm going to take this, make sure it's going the right way. I'm going to put this on there like that. And I'm just looking at the handle, making sure I have even paper on both sides of the handle. And make sure I'm even top and bottom as well. And straight. All right, so I think I'm good. No, I think I'm a little too, too low. Bring this one up a little bit. Okay, so I think it's I think it's close. I'm gonna take my heat transfer tape and put tape on it to hold that paper down like that. And I could just have another look at it, make sure everything's the way I like it. Take this one, more tape to hold that paper down. Now I'm gonna take a few more smaller pieces of tape. Just to hold that piece down there, this one up there, and then one more down there. All right, so I'm going to bring my mug press over really quickly so you can see that. It is a um, Trans Pro from Pro World. It's already heated up. All right, so it looks like that here. Let me zoom you guys out so you can see it. Okay, so I have my mug. I'm going to take a Teflon sheet. Wrap around my mug, hold that. I'm gonna insert that in this piece here, making sure it's even, and then close the clamp on that. And then go ahead and hit start, okay? That takes four minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and make our box. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna finger press all the scroll marks first, just to get them started. All right, so we have this. All right, so I'm going to assume this is going to go like this. This little flap here, we're going to put glue on that maybe, put it like that. All right, let's try that. So on that little flap, I'm going to go ahead and take some glue. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. Like that. We're going to just go ahead and put it on the side right here, lining it up. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit more now. All right, I'm just going to kind of go in there and hold that down. Okay, so we have that. I'm guessing that's the right way. All right, now we have this. Now, this looks like the lid. Let me think. All right, so we have the side of the box here that has the handle cut out and then the design here. And you want to have the design on both sides. So I'm going to take this. I'm not going to glue this yet, and I'm going to kind of see how this goes together. All right, so I have this one this way. The handle is facing that way, and I have the cutout on my left. Take this one. Because if you look here, okay, this is a clean edge here. A clean edge here and a clean edge here. So I'm going to guess the clean edge here is where the top goes. All right, so I'm just going to kind of ignore the top for a minute and just focus on these. So I have a flap here and I have a flap here. And I need to make this piece that has this cutout be on the opposite side of that. So if I put it like this, like that, it's not going to work because I have my lid over here. So if I put it like this, that's not going to work either. You know what? Let me fold it the other way. Let's try that. So I'm just going to fold it the opposite way I had it to see if it fits better. Oh, 
one of those done. I was going to take that mug out of there real quickly. All right, so I'm going to take that out, and that mug is steaming hot. I'm going to put that right over here. Okay, work on that in a minute. All right, so again, we have this here. Okay, so I know that goes like that. We just got to figure out how it goes like that. It might just go like that. Let me look. Okay. All right, so we have this one here. Okay. You want to have the handle cut out on the bottom and the cutout facing away. Then take this piece. If it's not folding right, just fold it the opposite direction. I'm going to take this piece and we're going to... Let me look. Okay, because we have a flap here. We have a flap here. A flap here and a flap here. So I take this, just kind of take it like this, right? So my cutout is facing me. The lid is going to the right. Okay, so I'm going to take this. And I'm going to just kind of see, so I have a flap here, I'm going to glue that here. The other flap will get glued inside there, that'll hold that piece down. Yeah, that's how it goes. Alright, so we're going to just leave it like that. Okay, I'm going to take some glue on this little flap right there. Again, I would probably use a good glue and a good quality paper. I just wanted to see if I was able to figure this out. Right, so we have that. I want to take this and just glue it to this. Okay, just kind of butting it up against each other. Make sure my score marks all match up. So pull this down, and it does. Okay, so I have that piece there. Now I want to take this piece. It's going to get glued to this flap here. This flap will get glued to there. And then this flap will get glued to there. All right, so now it's basically just following the flaps. Wasn't too bad, right? All right, so I'm going to put this one up here. Okay, I'm going to just go in there and finger press on that flap there. I'm going to turn my mug press off that heat. Now, as my mug press does it for 240 seconds, which is four minutes, at 400 degrees. All right, let's take this flap and bring it in. We're going to put glue on that flap right there. And you want to try to have your glue go edge to edge. It does give you a nicer finished box. And again, I'm just going to kind of going in there and pressing on that flap just to help the glue adhere. Okay. And then we have one flap left, which is right there. So I'm going to put some glue on that one. Yeah, my, my tip for this box probably would be not to use a directional paper because in case you have to uh, fold it the opposite way, the creases. Okay. All right, so now we have this, which is going to go down like this. I would imagine this is going to go inside like that. Does it fit? So make sure they're in the on the inside. Fold this guy down. Okay, that's our box. All right, let's go ahead and put our mug in. So I think what I'm going to do is on this piece here, I'm going to cut a little notch out of that. So I'm just using this three quarter inch circle punch just to make this more noticeable where the where the not where the opening is. Because this does not get glued down. So when I close this back up, I can easily see that little notch there. Okay, I'm just going to put our mug in. Let me go and take my thing. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and find something to take this tape off. Just to kind of get it started. I always love the reveal. All right, that is piping hot though. But look at that. I have a little something right there above the Z on both sides, so it may be part of the file. But isn't that cute? So cute. 
All right, let's go ahead and put that in there. So we have the handle here. So I'm going to put this in there like that mug is hot. Okay, I'm going to push that through. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. How you see the design on the, on the outside of it. Okay, so I'm going to close this back up. I don't need my glove now. All right, so you're just going to make sure that they go inside like that. There we go. Oh, yeah, the handle's not hot. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hot. Isn't that cute? Right? I, li I love it. I love it. There's a fly flying around. Say hi to the fly, my friends. That is so cute. So cute. Love that. All right, my friends, there you have it. There's our box. I'm going to take the cut back out of here again. So I think it's a really cute idea just to give to a, you know, a fun way to present a, um, a cup. Of course, when your cup's hot, it's not as easy. There we go. That's really cute. That's really cute. I might have had some kind of smudge on my paper, but I like that. So again, this is our box. Super cute, right? Isn't that adorable? All right, there you have it, my friends. A really cute sublimated mug. Okay, really, really cute. Really, really hot, as well as a box that goes along with it. Uh, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.